to get started, I have a user event script and I have defined the runtime module in my user event script in order to pass the value from user event before submit to after submit entry point. I'm going to make use of this runtime module. I have two entry points right now. One is before submit and the another entry point is after submit. So in my before submit function, I'm trying to gather the values from a transaction record, which has an item sublist. So I'm trying to get the line count first and then from that item sublist, I'm looping through all the items and I'm trying to gather the item ID, this item internal ID and the item name and the item quantity. And finally, I'm framing a JSON object by using all those values and I'm pushing it to an array. And also I'm logging that particular array of objects it contains my all the line items with all the details. So in order to pass the value from user event before submit to after submit, I'm making use of session API. And using this get current session object, I'm creating my own user defined session by providing a proper name and a value. And the name I have defined here is my key and the value which I'm passing is array of object line items. So using this session dot set API, I am trying to set my own key and trying to set my own values. So in my after submit entry point, I'm just trying to retrieve the value which I have set under before submit entry point. So in order to do that, I'm making use of the same get current session API. Using that, I'm trying to use the get API of the session object and I'm trying to get the value of my key which I have set it in my before submit. So make sure to pass the same name you have set in the before submit even here. So I have already uploaded this particular user event script to my NetSuite account. I have also created the script record for this particular user event script and I just have before submit and after submit function. I just preview my script file and clearly see I just have the before submit and after submit which I have explained and coming to the deployment part I have already deployed this particular script deployment on a sales order record now only thing which is left out is to test this particular script so in order to do that I have already opened one of the sales order currently this sales order has three line items under this item sublist so we're gonna retrieve all these three line items the item ID item name and the quantity so in order to execute my user event script, I'm going to click edit and I'm going to save this particular sales order. So let's save the sales order. So now that my user events should have triggered now, let's go to our script deployment and let's check the execution logs by clicking refresh. And I can see all the logs coming up here. Now let's come from the beginning. This is the log which I have added in my before submit where I try to gather all the values. And this is a log which I'm getting from value from before submit. I'm able to retrieve the value which I passed from before submit to after submit. Let's go back to the code. In my after submit function, I can just see only one log which says value from before submit. And in my before submit entry point, I just have one log which is array of object line items log. So in order to pass values from before submit to after submit, we can make use of this session object or get current session API and set our own key value pairs and retrieve those values by using the session dot get API.